Hey there, tech enthusiasts. I recently stumbled upon a fascinating tool on GitHub called AL Hacking. It's designed for beginners who want to learn about ethical hacking. I was immediately intrigued. As someone who loves exploring how things work, I couldn't wait to dive in. GitHub is a treasure trove of open source projects. It's a place where developers share code and collaborate. Finding AL Hacking there told me it was likely created by and for the hacking community. That's always a good sign. It means the tool is likely to be up to date and relevant. This wasn't just another piece of software. This was a gateway into the world of ethical hacking. I was ready to see what it could do. Join me as I explore AL Hacking and share my experience with you. Before we go any further, let's talk about ethical hacking. It's crucial to understand that hacking itself isn't bad. In fact, there are good hackers out there called white hat hackers. They use their skills to find and fix security vulnerabilities. Ethical hackers help make the internet a safer place. They do this by thinking like the bad guys, the black hat hackers. By understanding how malicious hackers operate, they can develop countermeasures. AL hacking is a tool designed for educational purposes only. It's meant to be used in a safe and controlled environment. Never use it to harm others or engage in illegal activities. AL Hacking offers a range of features and simulations for beginners. It covers topics like social media security, phone info gathering, Gmail phishing, anonymous SMS, and DOS attacks. Don't worry if some of these terms sound unfamiliar. The tool is designed to guide you. One of the most valuable aspects of AL Hacking is its focus on hands-on learning you'll get to simulate real-world hacking scenarios. This will give you a better understanding of how attacks work and how to defend against them. Remember, knowledge is power. By learning about these techniques, you're better equipped to protect yourself and others from cyber threats. To get started with AL hacking, you'll need a suitable environment. The tool is designed to run on Kaylee Linux. Kaylee Linux is a Debian-based operating system specifically designed for penetration testing and ethical hacking. Don't worry if you're not familiar with Linux. There are plenty of resources available online to help you get started. You can install Kali Linux on a virtual machine, which is a safe way to experiment without affecting your main operating system. Once you have Kaylee Linux up and running, you're ready to install AL Hacking. Section 5. Cloning the AL Hacking Repository. AL Hacking is hosted on GitHub, which makes it easy to download and install. You'll use a process called cloning to create a copy of the AL Hacking repository on your own system. Open a terminal window in Kali Linux and navigate to the directory where you want to install AL Hacking. Then, use the following command to clone the repository git clone https-github.com slash amad alhadad slash al hackinggit This will download all the necessary files to your computer. Once the cloning process is complete, you're ready to start using AL Hacking. Section 6. Navigating the AL Hacking Interface. The AL Hacking Interface is designed to be user-friendly, even for beginners. When you launch the tool, you'll be greeted by a main menu with various options. Each option represents a different hacking technique or simulation. You can use the arrow keys to navigate through the menu and select the option you're interested in. Don't be afraid to experiment. Try out different options and see what they do. The more you explore, the more you'll learn. Section 7. Simulating phishing attacks with Zfisher. One of the most common and effective hacking techniques is phishing. Phishing involves tricking users into revealing sensitive information, such as passwords or credit card details. AL Hacking includes a tool called Zfisher that allows you to simulate phishing attacks in a safe environment. Zfisher creates realistic-looking fake websites that mimic legitimate ones. By simulating phishing attacks, you can learn how to spot them in the wild and protect yourself from falling victim. Section 8. Unmasking the Ghost Eye Ghost Eye is another powerful tool included in AL Hacking. It's designed for gathering information about phone numbers. This information can be useful for security researchers and investigators. GhostEye works by leveraging various online resources and databases. It can provide information such as the owner's name, location, and even social media profiles. It's important to note that using GhostEye should always be done ethically and legally. Never use it to harass or stalk anyone. 
Section 9. Level up your ethical hacking skills. Ale hacking is a great starting point for anyone interested in ethical hacking. It provides a safe and controlled environment to learn and experiment. However, the world of cybersecurity is constantly evolving. To stay ahead of the curve, it's essential to continue learning and expanding your skills. There are many online resources, courses, and communities dedicated to ethical hacking. Remember, knowledge is power. By continuously learning and honing your skills, you can contribute to making the digital world a safer place.